all right hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel this is our divine tarot my name is Brittany, and for this one we are gonna get into full moon vibes in libra so we're gonna check in here and see what's going on for you and what messages you need to hear um some advice um, I'm going to pull some charms and initials just for extra confirmation, but yeah, um, anyways, before I go to the pile selection here, I just want to take a minute and just say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who watches my videos, who likes, comments, subscribes, uh, rings the bell even, um, I'm so glad you're here and I appreciate you so, 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 so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're going to get into it, um, we have the first pile here with the flower agate tower. Oh, she's great. With like the clear little little corner there. And that's with the witch's tarot. For pile number two, we have the modern witch tarot with the kunzite. For number three, we have the mermaid's tarot with the tiger's eye, which really surprised me. Normally this one's glued to the witch's tarot, so we'll we'll see about that. Okay, and then last but not least, we have this cute little green angel, and we have the modern, or sorry, not the modern, the Mystic Mondays Tarot. <laughs> There's a lot of M's in these ones today. <laughs> okay, so um, if you feel called to watch more than one, that's totally fine. You might have messages in multiple piles, but um, yeah, we'll just see where we go from here. And even even for me too, I had to do a quick reading for myself and be like, okay, clear my energy. <laughs> Anyways, um, I will see you in your piles. All right, hello, pile one. You chose the flower agate tower and like the cute little clear corner there. I love that on her. Um, and you chose the witch's tarot. But before we get into that, I do have some pre shuffled oracles for you. So this is all about how the um, full moon in Libra coming up here is going to be affecting you. So what you need to release, what you what's what's the energy going to be bringing you. So um, I also did bottom of the deck energy too. So we're going to see this is this is just the top portion. So we have January. So someone born in January could be significant or just January in general. Owl, good advice from a wise person. Maybe someone born in January. Um, giving you some good advice. We do have sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. That's amazing. I I really hope that's that's a good uh, well, why wouldn't it be good? It's your path, but um this will lead you to some more happiness because sunrise is like, oh, the beginning of something new, right? And something happy, like a happy venture. Uh we do have shield, you need to defend yourself. Yeah, protect your boundaries. Like um protect yourself with your boundaries. Start setting them. And we also have December. Wow, that's wild. So start of the year, end of the year. That's crazy. Okay. So, ooh. dang. <laughs> you do have number 66 white raven spirit trust in the magic okay you have beaver spirit lay a solid foundation number six so that was the back of the deck energy for this one so i don't know if you've been trying to manifest something or struggling with your manifestations and thinking they're not coming in oh they are they are there's just, just some divine orchestration needing to happen yet so there's still some things but um i think spirit is calling for you to um kind of set in motion what you truly want and what your fresh new beginning would be <clears throat> if you don't know about it already on what's coming for you um could be moving could be a new job could be um just a fresh start in general maybe <laughs> he was just like no I'm a brand new person we're going to move somewhere new and just be someone new <laughs> um be yourself right like the better version of yourself we're always working towards that okay sorry about that um but laying a solid foundation like something where you're solid in yourself okay and like you know when tower moments come along and those foundations weren't sturdy those relationships weren't set on solid 
<laughs> you know, um, this could be with a friendship too. You could be um, going through changes when it comes to that as well. Um, you're just shifting. You're energetically shifting. And I, I love that. <clears throat> and that can feel a little foreign too. Like it's a little of an out of body experience. But I feel like this energy, you're going to be flowing through it. It's not going to be shaky or turbulent. Um, we do have reflect on your priorities. Uh, last quarter moon in Aquarius. We have last quarter moon in Libra, make time for self-love. We have first quarter moon in Gemini, speak your world into being holy. All three air signs. <laughs> so air signs could be significant or these seasons. So um, we, we left Aquarius season. Um, Gemini season has yet to happen. And then we have Libra later on. Um, could be your placements, by the way. Oh, and we have full moon in Pisces. Forgive. This was the back of the deck. So whatever happened in the past, uh, it's hard. But forgiving and moving on is definitely like the best thing you can do. So you're not holding on to resentments. You're not holding on. You're not harboring any hard feelings. It's just live and let God pretty dang much. <laughs> Keep moving forward. <clears throat> So we have your dreams need a practical plan. I didn't look at these. So um, yeah, maybe reevaluate your goals. That's what's what's this uh, this new moon. I'm oh, sorry, full moon in Libra is going to be bringing and bringing balance, right? Libra is about balance. And I think that that's going to it's going to be easier for you to kind of decipher what it is you truly want and to be able to bring that practicality into your dreams here and setting the plans in motion on the back of the deck you did have bring love into the situation new moon and aquarius okay so with that being said i'm gonna start the tarot so i'm gonna put these I'm gonna have these cuddle with the crystals we're gonna just move those up All right. Thank you for your patience, by the way. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done a reading like this. I know I don't do all the full moon ones. It's only because some of them, sometimes the full moon just drains your girl, okay? Like to the point where I can't even do a read for myself. <laughs> it's kind of uh, pitiful. Okay. But I try to do them as I can if I have the energy to do so. So I'm doing this one. <laughs> okay, so spirit, what do you have to show uh, pile one? My lovely people that chose this deck. What do you need to tell them? What's going on? Oops, Shisa. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> <clears throat> We're going to try that again because that was okay. So we got the four of swords. So you've been needing to rest lately. Like I feel like you've been working really hard and that's why you feel like your manifestations aren't quite coming in. But um, with that being said, with spirit pretty much telling you to uh, lay a solid foundation, you have to start with yourself. So you got to take care of yourself. And that's where this make time for self-love comes into. Maybe you're working hard for everybody else and bending over backwards and it's finally time to take care of you. Yeah, we got the Knight of Pentacles. And you, this has been a long time coming. Like, you were slowly starting to deteriorate. Like, energetically, physically. Like, maybe... Um, I'm not saying, like, falling apart. But running on fumes. If that's what... If that makes sense. Okay. So, what else do you have to tell my lovely Pile 1 people? What else for this full moon in libra how is this gonna go <clears throat> the chariot okay so this is cancer energy you might be traveling or um just moving forward with your life in general just moving on just going for it you got to give yourself the time i don't know if you've been through like a separation of some sort or um <clears throat> well separation breakup um something just didn't go right and it was really draining on you like it could have been a person a situation but whatever it may be 
you're finally moving past this and you're getting, yeah, you're taking, you have the 10 of wands on the back for that one. You're taking your wands and you're just like, no, I'm leaving. Uh, I'm look at that castle. You are leaving towards your own salvation there. I, wow. Yeah. It's, you have, it's hard to choose yourself because people will make you think that it's selfish and how dare you. But when you keep giving and giving and giving and you don't give to yourself, that's what uh that's when things start to uh, go awry you got the six of wands this is victory this is recognition for your your merit like your worth like recognition for your work you got the eight of swords you're kind of stuck in your head about it and you're like when is this ever going to happen it's coming it's absolutely coming you just have to <laughs> take the reins and pour the love that you give others to yourself that's the biggest like shift I know there's going to be a lot of people, especially with this um, full moon in Libra, trying to balance out like their work and personal life too. <clears throat> but I feel like most of the people that I've met that have Libra placements, they struggle with those boundaries because they want to be there for everyone and they they kind of get walked on like a doormat and it's terrible. Um, I've, I've mentioned to a few of my, uh, my Libra friends here that, you know, it's, it's okay to stick up for yourself and take some time for you. If you need your own space, your own time, do it. You don't have to make up an excuse. You can literally just say, um, no, I'm taking time for me right now. I cannot handle anyone else's crap, right? You need to be able to pour into your own cup. Mental health days are completely okay to have. We all need them. So you do deserve this. This is your, your stuff. Your reward is coming like your recognition. You are going to be celebrated. <clears throat> okay. Oh, okay. So I'm going to go with the ones that flew out. So we have four of wands. Oh, celebration coming up. Six of pentacles. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my Lanta. Okay. So you got the nine of pentacles too. Oh. <sighs> This, this is, oh my gosh. <clears throat> so Four of Wands tells me that like a celebration is in order, like a huge one. I don't know if it's like a birthday, if this is like just happiness in general, or it's just like party time. <laughs> like, they, some people get recharged in crowd settings and others don't, don't do crowds. So I, I think, I think this is going to be a good time for you because you're finally giving to yourself and you're allowing other people to give to you um you got the yeah the six of pentacles somebody's gonna be very generous with you um you're gonna be given a lot of gifts and nine of pentacles you are abundant af already so you are gonna be thriving you are glowing look at that look at that that is wonderful okay so on the back of the deck you do have seven of pentacles this is like <laughs> This is planting the seeds. This is trying to um, plan for your future. See if these seedlings will work out, right? So um, whatever that may be for you, whatever new thing you're starting and trying to lay that solid foundation could be with another person. It doesn't have to be. It can be just within yourself. But it you're definitely growing and changing for the better. That's a lot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. I am going to, let's see, I'm going to pull from my trusty writer weight and we're going to see what else, what else do you have to tell my lovely pal ones? What else? What else you got for them? What can you tell us spirit? Or are we just going to shuffle forever? <laughs> We're going to shuffle forever. Okay, I'll give it one more go. What else do my... Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> we do have the world. Okay, okay. So the end of something, you know, the closing of one chapter and the, the beginning of another. I think that's why you needed this rest. Sometimes when it comes to a spiritual awakening, you may have just went through that. But if you don't fully recognize what that is 
sometimes when we go through these spiritual awakenings, we can be really, really tired, exhausted, but still ready to fight. But you, you clearly look like you need some rest. You, you've been energetically going through it. And of course, full moon energy can be intense as well. Pardon me. Um, but with the world, that's coming to an end. You are definitely starting on a new chapter. You do have the Wheel of Fortune and it's upright. So this is amazing. All the fixed signs there. We have Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. And this is representing to me your good luck. is Your good karma is coming in. Your good luck is coming in. If you If you've been feeling like, oh, everything's been so stagnant. Everything is, nothing's going right. Nothing's moving forward. It's just inching. There, there were reasons. Uh, we do have Queen of Cups here. So you're not losing touch with your gentleness, your, your nurturing side. But you can still keep that. You can still be in this energy and still have super strong boundaries, okay? You can still be nurturing, loving, and kind to everyone. But <clears throat> when you have those necessary boundaries, you can still continue to do that and give to yourself, right? Um, yeah, six of swords leaving for calmer waters. I love that. You are definitely moving in the right direction. And this full moon in Libra is definitely, definitely, definitely going to help you for the better. This is, I am so proud of you for how far you've come. I have this overwhelming sense of you've had so much burden on you, so much to work on, so much, <clears throat> all like, with the with the ten of wands there, like when we got when you got that at the back of the deck, those look so heavy to be fully honest. And you've been carrying a lot on your shoulders that spirit is now saying, like, just take it off. Just just take off all all the stuff that doesn't serve you. All the stuff that you don't have to do, but you feel like you have to do, right? Um those obligations with your friends, those, you know, those big things that you thought you were, um, thought you were going to have the energy for and you just don't, just don't worry about it. You'll be fine. You're moving in the right direction. You, you're not going to be so tired anymore. You're going, you're going to be live. you're going to be letting loose and having fun. That's what I also heard. So this, this is beautiful. Brand new chapter. You know what? You know what? Actually, let's ask this deck. So, what? Oh, no, wait, hold on. Sorry, I got a download here. Um, okay, so what's next for my lovely pile ones? What's next? Anything you can tell us about what's upcoming once this has been, okay. Ooh, you are going to be in your Empress energy. Okay, I did not take the rest of those cards in the back there. Like, this one needed to pop out. She's been a little sticky, so um, <clears throat> I don't know what happened. But anyways, um, the Empress here, she receives really well. She's in her receptive energy. She's in her divine feminine energy. If you don't identify as a female, you can definitely be in your feminine energy, I just want to say. Um no shame here. There's really no no genders in tarot, to be fully honest. Um, we all have masculine and feminine energies. It's a matter of which one we embody the most and which one we, you know, some people have them both equally and it's awesome. But you are definitely going to be stepping into this empress. Like you're going to be in your receptive energy. You're Instead of giving, giving, giving to others, you are finally going to be receiving, Okay. And I'm not meaning like a little bit. I'm meaning, I'm meaning like, holy crap, like this is what you've been waiting for. Yeah, nine of cups, wish fulfillment. You've always wanted to be in this energy, but you felt like you couldn't because you felt like you had to hold up everything on your own or do most of the work, right? So this is going to be amazing for you. So this is Taurus in Libra energy. I do want to say Venus. Um... But oh my gosh, <laughs> I am so excited for you. Like, I cannot wait. I really hope this resonates. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that's, yeah, no, I'm going to do charms and initials. Yes, for extra confirmation. How could I forget that? 
So we are going to get that going for you. So um, these charms can have different meanings for you as well. And they could be symbols and signs to look out for to show you that you are on the right path or you might be seeing them a lot. OK, so um, and the, the initials can spell out a place, a name, anything really it could be your initials too, or someone significant on your path. Um, all right. So I'm going to start. What do we got for my pile ones? What do we got for my pile ones? <clears throat> okay. All right. So I am going to just move all of these here. Okay, so right off the bat, we do we do have Libra. She's upside down. <laughs> we have Libra. We have Pisces and Gemini. So those signs or seasons could be significant. We do have this cherry. This is going to be a fruitful time. Like this is going to, this energy is going to shift you into a more fruitful time. And it's going to be more abundant. I love that. Um, we do have the rocket ship. You are going to be blasting off, if that makes sense. Like, you're going to be like, zoom, zoom, zoom. And, like, people are going to be like, whoa, pile. Is, was that pile one? You were going to be moving different. You're going to be, like, your energy is just going to be different um, with this energy here. Because a lot of people are going to, the ones that are so used to you giving, 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 are going to be shocked, okay? But I don't see anybody, like, leaving, leaving. Like, the ones that are just going to take, take, take from you and not even bother reciprocating are obviously going to be a bit irked and that's going to tell you who's not meant for you in your life. But the ones that didn't see it coming from you and who will respect your boundaries are the ones worth sticking around. So do keep that in mind. Uh, we do have the cross here. So you could be religious or, you know, you, this is just telling me you're keeping the faith, you know? Okay. So we have this butterfly. You are transforming into a be the beautiful... <laughs> everybody's beautiful okay in their own way beauty is in the eye of the beholder but I was gonna say like you are energetically becoming more and more gorgeous like you are gonna be glowing up this is like golden transformation whenever I see a gold butterfly it's just like oh yes it's been a long time coming but you know what this is precious this is who you're meant to be this is what you've meant you're meant to learn in order to receive your manifestations in order to receive that abundance in order you've worked hard okay and you are this beautiful butterfly <clears throat> who was one of those ugly caterpillars i'm not saying you were an ugly duckling you were probably gorgeous from day one <laughs> <laughs> I get your energy from here. You you seem like a beautiful soul. And I'm not doubting that. Like you are I you were stunning. Like I've been beaming during this whole whole reading. But you're finally growing into that yourself, okay? And believing in yourself and like maybe you struggled with self-esteem. And this energy can all will will also help you through that as well. This energy is going to be, <laughs> I just heard, this energy is helping you remember who the fuck you are. Yeah. <laughs> I love that so much. Never, ever forget that, okay? You are phenomenal. And you know, you don't need to be walked around. You don't mean, you don't need to be walked all over. Okay. Like, no, you were not a doormat. You were the door. <laughs> you can, you can shut people out. Some people have pretty doors, by the way. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that came up. Ooh, maybe doors um, are significant as well. Like um, new opportunities are coming in because you're learning these boundaries and actually setting them and taking time for you. So um, the opportunities you were striving so hard for that just weren't coming, they're going to be coming. You do have this white cat. So a white kitty could be a sign, I just want to say. Or like a butterfly or you see like a rocket or something or cherries, something like that. 
Okay, so now we're going to get into the letters. So we have I, R, A, Q, F, U, V, U, K, H, T, J, D, X, Q, U, A, and W. So if you need to take a screenshot, unscramble some letters, do what you got to do. That is everything I have for you, my lovely pile ones. I really, really hope this resonated and that um, I'm, I, I'm so proud of you. I am so, so proud of you. If anybody, if, if you haven't heard that from people, I, I, I'm proud of you. You've done so much. You, you've been working so hard and putting, you've been, you've been putting in the time and now your time has come to receive what you more than deserve. Okay. So if this resonated, I would appreciate a like, subscribe, comment, whatever you feel. Um, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I post next. <laughs> um, I've been a little under the weather lately, so uh, it might be a little bit for me. But um, if you're leaving me for another pile, I will see you there. If not, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching. My email is open if you would like to get a personal reading done by me. Um, you just shoot me an email and we'll go from there. But anyways, um, I hope to see you soon. Okay. Bye pile one. All right. Hello, my pile twos. Okay, so you chose the Kunzite with the Modern Witch Tarot, but before we get into that, well, first of all, I'm going to put yours there. We're going to shimmy that to the side because I have some, oh, maybe not because we're going to ruin the whole setup. <laughs> um, we are going to get into the pre-shuffled oracles. Now, I haven't looked at these, so these are complete surprise to me too. So, um, without further ado, we are going to check it out and I did put the bottom of the deck energy too with these so first of all for full moon in Libra this energy is bringing you a gift so you may be, rece re be receiving a physical gift it could be money it could be something um could be spiritual gifts too I do want to say could be going through a spiritual awakening uh you do have peacock beware of great pride okay you have kite vacation Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. Throne, position of authority. Ooh, are you getting a promotion? Ooh. And whale, great worry over nothing. Okay, so this might stress you out a bit and this could be why you're going through this spiritual awakening. Um... But it is preparing you for something you've been pretty much been waiting for for most of your life, I feel. I feel like a sense of relief, but you know that anxiety before you like start setting out on something that like the unknown into the unknown. <laughs> Frozen to. Um, so we're going to go through here. Uh, full moon and Aries, cool your emotions. Okay. As much as you want to be uh, Aries moon like me hot tempered <laughs> um tensions could be running high too so um take the time to like kind of center yourself too you might feel very it might be very very intense for you for the full moon in libra i'm not gonna lie it's it seems like it's a lot of pressure but cooling your emotions is like um meditating i just saw 222 on the camera timer that's wild um <laughs> With the cooling your emotions, how are you going to think rationally if your emotions are everywhere, right? So maybe try meditating if you haven't done so already or if you don't do so already. Um, it, 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 it helps a lot. Trust me. <laughs> it's Aries moon approved. <laughs> uh, first quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. Okay. You got number 45, Parrot Spirit, watch your words. Yeah, I with the same with that cool your emotions. You could end up saying something in the moment that could probably, um, you know, shake some foundations. <laughs> um, shake things up and uh, not, in a, not in a good way. Uh, we do have 64, Wasp Spirit, sometimes life stings. 
Okay. Also, I do want to say, um, be careful what you tell people to with this parrot spirit. Not everyone's going to be rooting for you. So if you are working on a project that isn't finished yet, if you're working on, um, anything in general, like don't tell people about your future plans. Like this is telling me to tell you to start making moves in silence or as silent as you can. Don't let everybody know your next move. Uh, we do have what do you need to release? And then we have be bold and make the first move. Okay, so that is what we have for you for the pre-shuffled oracles. So I'm going to have these all like cuddle up here with the crystals. Okay, and then we're going to get into your tarot. Just going to see what spirit wants us, wants me to tell you. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to just take this. All right. So, for my lovely pile two people, what's going on for the full moon in Libra? Oh, okay. That was quick. Okay, so you have nine of wands. You're in this defensive energy. But you are leaving for calmer waters, so that could be where uh, the cooling of your emotions may uh, may come in. Because wands can be intense, fire signs are intense energies. Trust me, my chart is mostly fire, so I definitely understand that. Um, but I feel like you're going to start taking a more logical approach to things Let's see, we do have Ace of Cups, so a new love could come in if you don't have one already. Um, or it could be just a new opening, giving yourself that love, like opening up that self-love, but also could be um, love of a project, love of a like a passion or something. You do have the Three of Swords. There's a betrayal of some sort. And we do have the King of Pentacles, so I'm going to get some clarity on that. But I feel like you might be the King of Pentacles um, or working towards this King of Pentacles energy. <laughs> I just heard, I want to be daddy for myself. I love that. <laughs> Take it out, resonates. Oh, I just saw 555 on the camera timer. Changes are coming. So um, yeah, on the back of the deck, you are going to be faced with some choices here. Like you're going to be chasing, you're going to be, there's going to be so many options opening up for you. Like this energy is bringing in a lot of change for you especially um you might be a little confused on what path to take and what's going to be the best for you so we're gonna see but you're yeah you should take some rest um with all this confusion all this choice here take some rest so that you can think logically about it because swords are about logic okay swords are swords are about um like logic over emotions first and foremost but um just actually taking time to properly think so you should probably do that before you make any big decisions okay okay so i'm gonna that could be like the biggest theme with this energy as well not acting reckless with your decision making actually taking some time that could have been you in in the past too like um just like real quick decisions not really any thought about it but maybe because you are ascending you will be ascending to this power of authority um the position of authority and that, that may, you are becoming this king of pentacles like not like <laughs> stable ultimate stability can take care of themselves um has everything sorted And I feel like in order to make those moves, you have to make more logical decisions. Think about long term. Think about big picture. Think about, um, think about the repercussions. Think before you leap. Yes, we are not the fool right now. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get into the trusty rider weight I have here. So spirit, can you tell me more about this ace of cups why is this ace of cups here six of swords <laughs> you got the six of swords twice okay uh i don't know if you are leaving a tumultuous relationship maybe maybe not 
it depends but i feel like this is like your salvation like Either you are going to be offered, <laughs> you could have a love offer coming or you are setting out to find that love, okay? You could be at a distance from this person. Oh, you are traveling for sure. Okay, yeah, boat here. Wands are fast. You <laughs> Maybe if you have, if you've been single for a while and you've just been working on your bag, working on your money, um... I do want to say that a <laughs> it could be a work trip that you meet someone significant who is going to match your energy and help you instead of drain you. Okay, uh, let's see what's this three of swords about. Okay, so we do have judgment. So that's karma. Um, resurrection to page of wands. A message about passion, like a passion thing, but it... <sighs> I feel like this was a betrayal was maybe a younger fire sign. I do want to say Aries Leo Sag. Um, that just wasn't. Yeah, no, it just wasn't for you. And this person would have held you back on your path. They would have been <laughs> they would have drained you for sure. Um, they're getting their karma, by the way. Their karma might be watching you just get the thing done, like become this king of pentacles while they're just immature over here it might have been just a fling it might have been a secret admirer that you know it, i have no idea maybe you do know of this person um but anyway this this reminds me of like past energy this person did not have good intentions for you so they would have just blocked you on your path and if they have been removed from your life without you even doing anything that that's your angel saying like mm, this person's not meant to be where you are okay yeah we have the we have the star i have to kind of cover her um youtube does not take kindly to these cards with their nudity <laughs> um with the star this is healing energy this is having faith that things will work out have, like bigger picture like also with the water bearer here aquarius energy i do want to say um you are definitely giving back to your community you're giving back to um you're pouring love into your surroundings into things that are gonna better help the community better help your kind of community if that makes sense pouring love where it needs to be rather than just pouring it into a person i just saw eleven eleven on the camera timer i'm just getting like these insane downloads about this like this is like you are transforming for the better like this is like the last few steps until you get to this king of pentacles you could be receiving a huge promotion at work or be receiving your or be landing your dream job where you like you know you have it all I'm so, I, I, I'm proud of you, okay? And I am so happy for you. And I really, 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 really hope this works out. I cannot wait to hear about it. But you are definitely going places. You're keeping the faith and you, you did the work. You are glowing differently. You're going to be moving differently. The star, you're going to be so bright. Like people are, <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of people's karma is going to be watching you flourish. Okay. And you might feel bad about it or maybe not. Maybe some, maybe you're like, yeah, they deserved it, but you're definitely going to be fruitful, but you're in your head about it. You're going to be like, <sighs> you're going to be in this mental prison because you've never been in this energy before. Okay. But it is bringing you to your ultimate happiness you do have the sun here that is amazing so you just gotta kind of i know you're <laughs> starting to use like uh the logic over the emotions but sometimes the logic takes over and sometimes emotions don't need logic <laughs> does that make sense um you're healing that though you're healing that there's just gonna be a bit of a bump in the road you're gonna there's always gonna be that little voice inside you that's just like oh, i don't know if this is gonna work out and you just gotta silence it with saying but what if it does <laughs> i love that okay so i'm gonna stick her there we go i might have to cover her face there we go she's nice and covered love that okay <laughs> um okay well let's see here what is going on with this? 
this. We're gonna, you know what? I'm gonna ask again. So, what's next for my pile two people? What is next? What can you tell me? What What's next? Okay, just... Okay. So you do have Page of Swords. So I do want to say this could be communication coming in. A message about um, maybe a learning opportunity too. Maybe it's like a workshop or maybe like um, you have some skills to kind of kind of learn. Or maybe um, you feel somebody's energy just like stalking you. I do want to say because the page of swords can be a bit of my stalker card. Um, somebody like scouring your social media. Maybe you're just. Um, I do feel called to say you should be protecting your energy a little bit more. But if we're going back to um, the message here or that you were going to be learning something. Um, learning some skills there. I do want to say that this is coming in fast. Okay. Knight of Wands is fast energy. So you are, you might be a quick learner too. And that's awesome. That is amazing. Um, <laughs> but this is going to be happening quite fast. You do have the four of wands here. So it's worth celebrating. This is, this is divinely guided. Like, I don't know if like, somebody's getting married soon or like you could be meeting your twin flame or um the person you're meant to be with who's gonna help support you in like the best way and somebody who's not going to constantly take from you somebody who's going to compliment you i guess we do have the ace of wands that passionate new beginning oh my gosh you got the seven of pentacles planting seeds for the future oh my gosh you got the chariot moving forward just going for it charging she's ready to go she's got her knife look at her go uh, <laughs> she's on this motorcycle she's great okay and you got the star again if this isn't telling you to keep the faith and to continue keeping the faith and continue doing the dang thing i don't know what will okay so like this is this is gonna be amazing Ooh, i just okay okay perfect <laughs> got the star there again that is amazing on the back of the deck you do have queen of cups oh okay so um if this is a same sex connection a queen of cups a cancer uh scorpio pisces person could be uh significant be what you need or maybe you are this queen of cups you were transforming into this queen of cups you can be the queen and the king at the same time i do want to mention you can be king of pentacles have your money together be stern do what do what you need to do be be big daddy energy but you can also be in your loving nurturing giving caring self energy too okay but I also want to say, too, if you are the Queen of Cups and you don't resonate with this King of Pentacles, you are going towards this. Like, um, this is... Pentacles are Earth signs, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, for those that don't know. But um, the King of Pentacles especially is Taurus energy. So a Taurus could be significant, doesn't matter the gender. Um, and then water signs could be significant no matter the gender. Okay, so I'm going to get into the charms and initials. So these could be signs to look out for. Um, the charms could have different meanings for you than it, than they do for me. Um, what a take what resonates different from what I say they are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And the letters, just take them how they resonate and leave them for somebody else. So, um, what do we have for my pile two people? What do we have for my pile two people? Oh, you got a lot of letters. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if love was not um apparent in this reading here and what's coming to you oh my gosh <laughs> it is definitely here because i see it. there's a lot of gold here too 
this is oh this is gonna be so good this is when it's gold it's like you were meant to have this you worked so hard for it and you got this butterfly this gold butterfly oh that is so beautiful you are transforming for the better you may feel like you need to protect yourself with this black here i mean that's why i wear black nail polish i do say because um you know evil eyes everywhere but protecting your energy has gotten you so far and you've been you've it seems like you've been in this nine of wands energy for so long and trying to defend yourself and trying to protect yourself so much you won't have to work so hard at it that's what i feel called to say it'll it'll be easier for you to be able to do that and it will it'll it'll be less draining if that makes sense okay so we have two hearts here um two gold hearts on oh, their different shapes too so um opposites attract i want to say could be uh significant <laughs> but you also have this four leaf clover but the the leaves are shaped like hearts so you are going to be lucky af in love i love that like this is going to bring you this could be why like you feel like your manifestations are coming are not coming in it could be feeling like um you've been working so hard and hard and hard and like you just you're gonna be so lucky like if you've been seeing 777 a lot or will be seeing 777 a lot uh maybe buy a lottery ticket <laughs> we do have the scales here so libra could be significant but i also want to say um continue to work on keeping the balance i want to say okay work life personal life keep the balance we do have the starfish okay so the ocean could be significant maybe that's where you're traveling to maybe that's where you're going um <laughs> take it how it resonates we have this cow here and look at how happy so happy you're gonna be so happy <laughs> um cows are sacred in some cultures so i feel like this is some sacred time and we have this feather so birds of a feather flock together so you might be finding your soul family um this person coming in this new love could be a uh, part of your soul family you could already be connected in the 5d i do want to say but that's only for those that it resonates with. Um, okay, so now we're going to get into the letters, okay? So we have W, we have T, we have L, we have Y, O, H, X, G, K, K, W, T, Y, J, L, D, Z or Z. I'm Canadian. Um, A, F, <laughs> N, S, A, I A G U B X J T and F. Okay, so I will put that closer there. If you would like to take a screenshot, go right ahead. But um, that's everything I have for you, pile two. I hope this resonated. If it did, I would appreciate a like and subscribe or comment, whatever you feel called to do. Ring the bell if you want to see more from me. Um, but yeah, I'm sending you a lot of peace and love through this. Um, it's not easy, but I feel like this energy is going to make it, it is going to lift some weights off your shoulders, right? It, the hardest part is coming to an end and you have done the work. The, the star came up twice along with the six of swords. So like you're leaving for calmer waters, protecting your peace and still going for it, going, crushing your goals. You have transformed into this beautiful, resilient person that doesn't take people's crap and i absolutely adore that i love that and you you know what you came here to do whether you know it consciously or not okay so um if this is where you're leaving me i hope you're having a great day or night whenever you were watching and i hope to see you soon but if you're leaving me for another pile uh, i will see you there all right bye pile two all right hello pile three you chose the tiger's eye here isn't she lovely? If it would focus, that'd be fantastic. I like looking at this one sometimes. It's like, Phew. anyways, <laughs> sorry. I'm just gonna put that, put her there. 
she goes really nice with this leopard anyways you chose the mermaid's tarot uh but we're gonna shimmy that over here for a minute because i have some pre-shoveled oracles for you so what's going on for you for the full moon of libra uh, in libra <laughs> full moon of libra <laughs> that sounds like a movie anyways sorry about that <laughs> squirrel you might your energy might <laughs> your attention span might be like a little it might be dwindling lately <laughs> that's that's what i feel um but let's see we do have ram a stubborn aggressive person okay could be an aries um or have strong aries placements bear danger especially in money matters okay so keep an eye on your finances and don't do anything risky that's what i feel like saying we do have marriage Ooh, either you are married already or you're in you are in energy that could be leading to marriage like um either somebody could be proposing or you are or um it could be dealing with somebody that's in a marriage i just want to say uh carrot opportunity or windfall dark man dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair or just masculine energy doesn't have to biologically be male and then on the back of the deck of uh the tea leaves you had successfully overcoming a problem so it could be involving this person it could be like i don't know if you are married it could been could have been just like um a rough patch but it is coming to an end with this full moon okay full moon in libra kind of it brings balance libra is all about balance um evening the scales if you will right so even if um i do want to say for a very very select few of you if it is a legal issue um it is going to be resolved and i i i, I want to say amic amicably <laughs> i just saw 222 on the camera timer um number 52 scare beetle spirit magic works for you okay we have ant spirit time to collaborate number one okay okay so um you could be collaborating with somebody maybe this is in your work life or maybe your personal life you could be working on a passion project too maybe giving that some uh some leeway uh we do have new moon in pisces attuned to the divine okay you have last quarter moon in virgo attend to the details on the back of the deck energy for that one is cool your emotions full moon in aries i mean i'm an i'm an aries moon and i <laughs> cooling my emotions is easier said than done but i do want to say with this attuned to the divine meditation might be beneficial for you you don't even have to be an aries moon but it does calm your thoughts it does calm you down and it kind of just centers you a little bit it's very very therapeutic highly recommend um, you do have step out of your comfort zone, North Node. You have a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Okay, you have full moon in Aries twice here. That's significant. But Libra, uh, full moon in Libra coming up here is in, is a cardinal sign as well. So this could be fueling your, uh, if you are a fellow Aries moon, hello, hi, welcome. We're in this together. <laughs> but you're not alone, Okay. Hold your vision. Yes. Yes. Don't lose sight of what you're working hard for. A personal issue reaches resolution. That could be what this is about here. And it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Wow. Aries is really strong in this one. <laughs> yeah, With the ram here and you got the ram here and here and here. It's a lot of like intense, like impatient energy. Like you feel like, um, I want to say that you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for something and it's just not coming in this is spirit saying hold tight hold tight for a little bit longer hold your vision this is going this is all going to come to a close and it's going to reach a resolution but you just have to be patient this is going to teach you a little bit more of patience and going through the flow and not acting on your impulses otherwise like you know in danger especially in money matters um it's time to collaborate a little bit, work with others better, and just what fine tuning do you need to do? Like with the attend to the details, last quarter moon in Virgo. What is working in your life and what isn't? That could be the main focus of this full moon energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull this up. 
so that these can cuddle with the crystals a little bit and then we can get to the tarot i'm excited whatever it is you're doing i just heard like keep doing it but slow your roll a little bit like slow your roll i know you want to get things done bing bang boom but um it can't just happen like that because certain parts are not ready to be bing bang bing bang boomed <laughs> oh, okay sorry about that okay so now we are going to i'm gonna put that there get that up here so now we're going to get into what spirit wants to tell you. So what do you have to tell my lovely pile three people for this uh, full moon and Libra energy? How is this going to be affecting them? Okay, so you got three of swords. So there was a betrayal of some sort, and I'm very sorry about that. That that can be tough. Um, you do have the six of cups here. It could have been um, soulmate energy, like who you're, if you are married, um, who you're married to, it could have... Um, could have involved them but also I do want to say um because of this this if it was who you're married to if you are married um this betrayal happened but also um for those that aren't with this person and that aren't married and want to lead to marriage with the six of cups person here um this betrayal that you're going through right now could lead you to them okay so we're gonna we're gonna take a look here what else you have the knight of pentacles okay you have the moon and you have eight of wands okay so there's some travel going on here uh you do have the death card at the back of the deck so this is going to be a rebirth era for you or like uh, the end of like the old way of living i just want to say okay so i'm going to whip out my trusty Rider weight. So <laughs> I was going to do the whole fan thing and I, I thought the cards would fall all over the place. Anyways, sorry about that. Um, let's see. Let's get this here. So three swords. Why are you here before I start? Oh, the lovers. Okay. Was this involving a Gemini? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it, yeah, definitely betrayal in a lover. So I am so sorry about that, but also, you know what? They were just smug about it. They wanted to hurt you. That's terrible. Okay, so let's see. What's this Knight of Pentacles? What's this Knight of Pentacles for? Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles? Ooh. We have the Knight of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. So a Knight of Pentacles could be coming in. Um maybe if you are getting separated if you are married um i don't know if this is going to be working out maybe this is a spirit saying uh you know this person isn't meant for you but we're going to be sending you someone else so we do have the knight of pentacles here this is slow energy this is um uh, earth energy taurus virgo capricorn doesn't have to they can just embody this but they're slowly coming in they've been watching you they've been studying you um, I don't know if you know this person or not, but, um, they're, they want to come in like super fast with communication. They want to like, they want to come through. Uh, yeah. And they want to plant those seeds with you. They're like, oh, I could, ah, uh, Sean Mendes, I could treat you better. Yes. Yep. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? Could be, oh, no. Uh, why is the moon here, spirit? Please tell us. Okay. Ah, five of pentacles. This is what's hidden. Um, let me get more information here. Oh, no, no. Okay, so Aries has been very prevalent in this reading. And we got the emperor here. So... I don't know if it's this dark man you've been dealing with that has that Aries energy. They either could be married to someone else or you. Married to you. Or maybe you want to get married to them, but you don't know that they're actually struggle bussing. Like, they are out in the cold energy. They are um, 
not financially stable, okay? And they mo- they may look like they have it all, but it's all smoke and mirrors right now. And they don't want to let you know that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Okay. The Emperor. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, and the sun. Oh, you know what? With that being said, I do want to say that this could also be the energy that um, this Knight of Pentacles has been in. Um, they want to come forward, but they don't have their money up. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. But you're moving towards like um, boss like energy. Like, um, could be you or someone else. Um, I just want to say with the emperor here, could be like a father figure, could be like a boss, um, or just like daddy in general. <laughs> Take it how it resonates. Um, but we do have the sun here. So this is happiness. Like this is this is gonna bring you some happiness. Like this is what you're going towards. You had to go through this like ending energy, this the old you, the old way of living. You had to kill that off. You had to go through the ego death ego death in order to get to the sunshine i love that i love that so we're gonna ask um your <laughs> your guides here so what's next with this for my lovely pile threes what's next <sighs> okay yeah you were gonna be diving on in you got two of cups here um on the back you do have the fool yeah you're jumping in you are oh my gosh nine of ones you're defending this energy this is what you've been working towards. This is the person. I don't know if this dark man is causing the issues or you're leaning towards them. So um, take it how it resonates. This reading can go really any way. But the one thing that's the biggest thing is um, there was a betrayal or there's going to be a betrayal. But you know what? This person who betrayed you is not meant to be on your path. I strongly believe that. You are moving towards um, energies that are going to be serving you better, um, reciprocating, uh, not going to manipulate you out of your money, not going to break your heart, not going to just do whatever the hell they want, right? So you're you're going towards this happiness, like your your true happiness. You're you're going towards it. This is going to be a sunshiny time in your life after all of this brouhaha is done. Okay, okay, whoo. <laughs> okay you know what i think for this i'm gonna pull some love oracles for you because i wasn't too sure what was going on and i didn't see what these ones were before i showed you so we're gonna see what well, spirit what do you have to say about this reading like what do you okay okay the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child growth self-indulgence focus on self-worth time to heal shadow work self-appreciation twin flames you are in this that's why that got a little confusing okay so you may have been dealing with um someone <laughs> and you got soulmates on the back of the deck oh my gosh okay so <laughs> so this this could definitely be a uh, twin flame energy af and um that journey here, I feel like you're getting closer to union. Okay, soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. Maybe you are getting married. <laughs> um, take it how it resonates. It's not going to resonate 100% with everybody. This is just, this is a weird energy. If you could tell me down below, that would be fantastic. I need like a crumb of context. <laughs> um, but this is strong. Like this is... You're do, you're willing to work for it, but you want somebody who's going to reciprocate that. And I feel like this person is working towards that too. But we're not dealing with this betrayal here. So like, no, no. <laughs> if you if you have the audacity, you don't need to be here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pull from the romance angels. So we're going to we're going to ask them what else do we need to see? Okay. Make the effort. Okay. Ah, ah, that's where the time to take action is. Okay. So if you feel like called to, um, 
to communicate with your twin, your twin flame, I would say um, go for it. Go for it. Once, like, you know, all this stuff kind of calms down, like, cool your emotions first, okay? Like, just just <laughs> be a Zen noodle and then kind of think about what what you whatever you feel called to do like hit them up if you can um make make the effort but they got to make the effort too but i feel like that's coming in strong okay and then you have getting to know each other on the back of the deck as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens you might not even have gotten to that stage with your twin yet and i feel like this has been a long time coming oh my gosh okay <laughs> So now we're going to get into the charms and initials. Now the charms could be signs to look out for, could be um, signs you see when when you're struggling with the decision, right? Like to let you know you're on the right path, like the right way of thinking, okay? And then uh, the letters can spell out whatever. It's totally fine. Um, you can also take the charms as different meanings than what I say as well. Just take it how it resonates, okay? So I'm going to see what I can get for you. So what do my pile three people need to see? What do my pile three people need to see? Okay, you need to see a lot. <laughs> mm. I just like to separate all of these. Oh, my Lanta. Okay. 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 Sorry. I really like to keep these separated because it makes it easier for me and my, uh, my noggin. Okay. So <laughs> we have a lot. Okay. So first of all, for signs, we have Scorpio, Aries, and Libra. Okay. So that's crazy. Uh, we do have the Eiffel Tower. So um, <laughs> could be a um, France connection or travel connection. Maybe you want to travel to France. Maybe your person's in France. But I also want to say like... Um, building a solid foundation like you know how the eiffel tower is still standing today like <laughs> um yeah it's solid it's there so i feel like that's you finally building the right foundations like the solid you you got the quality um equipment and materials to make this make this solid make it worth it we do have Santa, so um, Christmas could be significant. Um, <laughs> just want to say, we do have. Oops, we have this deer here. We do have. Um, well, like I said, Christmas could be um, significant, but also um, defending yourself and um, protecting your energy as well. I mean, they always have to be on the lookout for uh, danger, whether it be another animal or hunters. Um, somebody trying to, like, get them. <laughs> or hunting could just be uh, significant. We do have this little shell here with the pearl. This reminds me of Venus energy. Uh, Taurus and Libra energy is strong here. But you are going to be in your Venus vibes. Like, this is going to be genuinely loved oops and you're going to be really attracted to each other <laughs> or seashells and pearls could be um a significant um symbol we do have this little egg kind of thing here okay so easter could be significant i mean yes that's happening after the full moon we do have this feather and this this feather <laughs> Um, birds of a feather flock together. I feel like this person's part of your soul family. And I feel like this is just, you're finding it. It's, it's, it's happening. We do have this leaf here. So growth and it's golden. It is golden. This is, this is the growth that you needed. And you're finally, finally at the last stages. 
You're going to be flourishing too, I want to say. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, these nails. You have this tiny, tiny, tiny gold heart. Heart of gold. You're finally going to be with someone who has a heart of gold like you. A big heart. Um, I feel like you're very loving and like <laughs> love intensely. And it's it's hard to find someone to match that energy. A lot of people will say you're too much, but you're not. You are not too much for the right people. Uh, let's see. We do have a rabbit. So Easter for sure. But um, could be born in the year of the rabbit as well, I want to say. Or if you've been seeing some rabbits. I mean, it is close to Easter. <laughs> uh, we do have the star here. Oh, does this say something? just for you that's what it says here i don't know it says just for you so you are <laughs> i feel like um you're like somebody's northern star guiding them but just for them i just i just got a vision of that like oh my gosh that is so nice that is, oh or or someone else for you and you you've been they've been your guiding light and you've been theirs Okay, we do have a seahorse here. This reminds me of the card in the tea leaves, Family Matters. So um, your family could be significant. Uh, the ocean could be significant, I also want to say. But um, yeah, seahorses are just, they're interesting. I don't know. <laughs> they're one of my favorite um, sea creatures. And we have the yin and yang. So this person's going to be balancing you out. Okay, you are finally going to find that balance with this person and it's just it's going to flow a lot better if that makes sense. Okay, so now we're going to get into the letters. So we have A, I, S, G, P, I, M, I, N, V, Q, C, B, Q, Q, C, Q, G, T, C, D, P, P, R, X, R, E, and Q. You got a lot of Qs. <laughs> if you would like to um, take a screenshot, you can do whatever you need to. Pause the video. But that is everything I have for you, Pile 3. Um, I really hope this resonated. If it did, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. Comment if you would like. Um... But yeah, I genuinely hope that you have the best luck with this. Like I'm sending you a lot of peace and love through this. This seems kind of like all over the place, but I feel like it's it's going to work out in your favor. Just let the things that need to fall away fall away to make way for the better things. You know, like things that are things and people that are better going to serve that are going to serve you better, that are going to support you instead of hold you back, right? Okay. Okay, so um, if you're leaving me for another pile, I will see you there. If not, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night whenever you are watching, and I hope to see you soon. Also, um, I am open for personal readings. It's just first, first come, first serve basis, so if I don't get to you right away, um, don't, don't be discouraged. I will get to you, but I uh, got yeah, my emails down below. But anyways, I hope you're having a good one, and I will see you soon, all right? Bye, pile three. All right, hello my number fours, you chose the Green Angel and the Mystic Mondays Tarot, but before we get into that, I do have some pre-shuffled oracles for you for what's happening for you and how is this uh, full moon in Libra going to be affecting you now. I'm going to put this angel here next to the uh, tower <laughs> so that she has some support. She doesn't like to stay on her own sometimes, so she falls over a lot so maybe you've been feeling that <laughs> okay <clears throat> pardon me sorry my voice isn't so smooth today um okay I also have like the bottom of the deck energy too with each of these so we're gonna see here so we have horse short journey could be someone born in the year of the horse I do want to say you could just be going somewhere um broken wishbone wish will not be granted okay Bread, period of prosperity and abundance. Maybe that's why that didn't work out. Something you want, something you really, really wanted and it just was not coming because it wasn't meant for you and um, something better 
better serving you is coming and bringing you prosperity and abundance. So it's better than you could have imagined. Okay. Vase or vase. Secret admirer. Boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. January could be significant. We have yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Probably because that wish did not come true and um, you were really holding on to that. But um, I feel spirit is trying to say like, let go, just just let go of the control. We have this and we have you. You just got to just got to have some faith. OK, this could be some crazy energy, but just keep the faith. Um, we do. This was the back of the deck. Claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. Yes. Not yet because it'll. It'll block you from what you truly want for an extended period of time. OK, so if you feel like um, something is risky and like, oh, maybe I should go for it. Reevaluate that. That's what I feel called to say. I just saw two, two, two on the camera timer. Um, you do have last quarter moon and Gemini clear your mind. Yes, because you're going to be making some irrational decisions if you don't. And last quarter moon and Libra make time for self-love. Yeah. Give to yourself, too. I feel like um, you... I, f I get the energy from this from this pile, same as I did, I think, with pile one. I think that's the one that had this one as well. Um, make time for self-love. You have to put yourself first, too, sometimes. And I know that can be a little foreign. That can feel really selfish. But you have to be, okay? No one else is living your life. And if everybody's just taking, taking, taking from you and you're just giving, giving, giving to others without giving to yourself... Um, you're going to be burnt out so fast and keep burning out and you just can't function like that. Nobody can function like that. Or not, not well, <laughs> I should say. Um, okay. So we have, oops. If I could just, thank you. Okay. Number 41, Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. Yes. Yes. You might not be feeling it too much from others, but it is all around. And number 63, vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. No, your love isn't wasted on people. Even if you feel like it's for those that are undeserving, when you set your boundaries and somebody gets real triggered by it and just suddenly just like leaves, they were just using you. So this is also spirit saying, okay, we can't give you what you want right now. That's why this wish is not granted because you still have energies around you that are like va energy vampires and they'll just take, take, take all your, all your blessings. Right. Um, they wouldn't, they, I feel like they would be the same people that, um, wouldn't think twice about emptying your bank account. I just heard. So, um, think about that please um watch yourself and be careful don't don't be uh just giving everything away willy-nilly right <clears throat> so we do have it's time to take action new moon and aries you have what do you need to release waning moon and then on the back of the deck energy it's time to release negativity yeah release negative energies things that no longer serve you that's what you're releasing this um this full moon this full moon energy is either gonna give you what you need that that final push to be able to like getting getting your boots on and kicking your butt um but also they could it, honestly with your angels and your guides whatever you believe in will be clearing this path for you if you don't take it upon yourself so um if people just leave for no reason <laughs> you'll know why okay so I'm going to pull this up a bit here and we're going to get into the tarot. Okay, just going to put those there. Okay, maybe <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stick this actually. Oops. Can you just thank you? <laughs> okay, so what's going on for my pile for people for full moon in libra what's going on for my pile for people let's see spare what can you tell us okay okay queen of pentacles Ooh. 
Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands, and Judgment. Okay, so you're going to be reaping some good karma here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, on the back of the deck, you do have Eight of Wands. So that travel here, that short journey, you're traveling. I love that. Are you going on a mini vacay? Like what you doing? <laughs> Take some time for you. That could be the self-love part too. Make some time for you. Sometimes, you know, even even if you just need to travel even like solo or like with somebody you love and trust, um, somebody you know you can have a good time with and not um, worry so much and just be carefree and let loose. Um, that's big. So I feel like this energy is going to be kind of propelling you into that and maybe opening up your uh, schedule a little bit without you even uh, <laughs> having to do much. Um, I feel like you're if somebody's going to be like, hey, do you want to go on this like little road trip with me or something like that or um, going somewhere significant like uh, maybe you maybe you're you are even leaving the country. Maybe it's in me. <laughs> um, it is a short journey. I do want to say so maybe not, but it could be. I just want to say uh, let me pull from my trusty rider weight before I get into this too deep. So. Let's see, what is the, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Two of Pentacles. Oh, okay. So you've been working hard on your money. And I think you've been, you've been go, 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 but more focused on the bag than your own well being. And I feel like that's where this this trip's coming in maybe maybe the universe is forcing you to have a vacation <laughs> uh page of swords here so um communication a message about um something could be coming in i do want to say um or this could be somebody maybe that secret admirer is an air sign younger than you gemini libra aquarius they've just been watching your socials a bit okay okay you could um meet the you could have <laughs> you could have met them um through work I do want to say or like you just didn't have time to even nurture the connection if that makes sense because you've been working so hard on your own goals here um let's see queen of cups why is the queen of cups here why is the queen of cups here why oh why is the queen of cups here thank you seven of pentacles Ooh. okay so you could be going towards the queen of cups um cancer scorpio pisces doesn't have to be they don't even have to be um female by uh assignment <laughs> Uh, they can be trans, they can be um, just in that feminine energy, like even a, mas a, a man can have those qualities too. So I just want to say um, somebody who's very nurturing and kind and loving and wants to share their cup. But um, yeah, they either you want to build with this person or they want to build with you. But I'm saying here, um, this could also be an LGBTQIA plus connection as well. Um. With this uh, Seven of Pentacles, though, planting seeds together. I love that. Maybe you're working on being less. Um, you're probably working on being less um, workaholic and you want to be more nurturing. I also want to say that you want to be in both of those energies. Yeah, you don't know how where you want to go yet when it comes to this. That Seven of Pentacles. Um, you're just deciding this. OK. So Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Nine of Pentacles. Oh, okay. You were going to... Period of Prosperity. Yes, Nine of Pentacles. This energy is going to be propelling... This is fast. Knight of Wands is like a fast energy. So this is going to happen quicker than you anticipated. And I absolutely adore that for you. That... It, oh this might be a long time coming I just want to say and you got the two of wands here like <laughs> um are you deciding what you want to do when this comes like maybe maybe you do want to travel maybe you just want to take some time off and just travel I love that 
Um, but you're, you're still deciding on where you want to go, what you want to do. The world is in your hands. You, the, <laughs> the world is your oyster, pretty much. I just saw 1111 on the camera timer. This is, you were meant to go through this. And you were meant to have this stability in yourself and not rely on anybody. I love that. This, you've been working hard. You've been, you've been doing the work. You've been juggling these pentacles, but it's all, you're building your own stability here. And I love that building it in yourself and building, um, your emotional stability as well. Okay. 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 That, that makes sense. And pouring that cup of love to yourself too. Love that. Judgment. Why is judgment here? Why is... Okay. 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 So somebody's lies and deceit are finally... Uh, somebody who was... Uh, somebody who deceived you is definitely um, being cleared from your path. Um, that person's karma is going to be you moving on you moving on up i just saw 12 12 on the camera timer um page of cups oh this could have been a younger water sign i do want to say cancer scorpio pisces um it could have been somebody who just lied to you and just like uh, oh yeah they, they kind of just say anything to get in your pants or whatever or just get what they wanted from you in general but i feel like you were manipulated by this person and like you thought they were a friend you thought they were you you could trust them but i don't know um, this, it could be the secret admirer, but I'm pretty sure that was the page of swords we saw in the back of the deck and the other one. We have king of swords underneath that. Oh, did that person have, um, or does this person have air or water placements? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for king of swords, trying to use logic over emotions. Clearly didn't work. Um, page of cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could definitely be, but I feel like... I feel like all the lies and deceit came out. You saw through the mask. Yeah, the chariot. Moving on from this. Yeah, you're definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're moving on. And the eight of wands is like, just travel. Like, you're leaving that. You're leaving that energy. It's no longer serving you. But you're you're going to be just fine on your own. I love that. Just saw 1333 on the camera timer. You are going to be abundant. Money is going to be coming in. It's going to be flowing to you. Like, you're going to be like, holy crap. Like, um, <laughs> uh, whatever it is you've been working on to um, personal projects, that's going to really pop off. I feel like um, you're going to have a lot of eyes on you. So keep that in mind. Keep up your boundaries. Okay. That's what the queen of cups is about as well. Setting those like emotional boundaries. Like, um, being stern and not letting just anybody come and sip from that cup right so you're working on that i love that but it, it's not going to take long like this is the universe likes to bless us when we learn the lessons that we need in order to evolve right so this is perfect this is this is transformation vibes for me i love that i love that so we are going to get into what's next what's next for my lovely pile fours what do you got, spirit? What's next for my lovely pile fours? What can you tell us? Nothing. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, so you have the eight of cups. Leave in. End of a situation. Ten of swords. That's fine. Um... I just heard the old me's dead and gone. So the old me that would have taken your crap is dead and gone. You have the four of pentacles. Yeah. You got the nine of swords. There's some anxiety and despair. This is going to be like kind of like a, a full moon energy can be a bit weird. I'm not going to lie. But with the nine of swords, there's some anxiety and despair. But you do have knight of cups here. And you have the four of wands. Oh my gosh. The 1111 card, five of wands and three of cups. It's not, you're not going to be in a place that's, <laughs> you are not going to be in this nine of swords energy for long, okay? You may have been holding on to this ending. You may have been holding on to this moving on energy. But with this knight of cups here, um, 
actually let me let me see on the back of the deck here i do want to say you do have the four swords again so like uh this is like taking taking time out oh not again not again sorry that was another pile maybe you felt called to watch um another pile because the four swords has been coming up a lot so this can indicate that you just need some time to rest and take care of you before you can make any decisions about anything okay <laughs> um take time to properly clear your mind meditate maybe okay with the clear your mind over here with all of this stuff going on like you're holding on to a lot of resentments a lot of um past traumas right and it's hard to move on through from that but you are not your traumas i just want to say and with this person you are becoming you are the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups okay like that's <laughs> that's amazing first and foremost second um with these two energies, it can be tough to protect that energy because so many people want to like latch onto it because it's very nurturing. It's very, oh, I'll take care of you. This is like mother vibes. This is like, you know, like, oh, sugar mommy, <laughs> you know, um, a lot of people like you, you will always run to somebody if they're sick, like make them soup or something. Um, just take care of them anyway get them by them them by the medicine or like their favorite candy, whatever. But a lot of people like to abuse that. But you might feel, you might feel like you're holding on to the old you, like the old way of going about things. And it's got you, got you in this like anxious space because this is whole, this is a whole new territory for you. But Knight of Cups, why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? I'm going to pull some love oracles for you too, because I want to know. Knight of Swords. Okay, Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. Somebody's coming in with their cup of love and they just want to come in fast. They want to communicate. They want to come through. With the Four of Wands here, like, this is telling me, like, oh, you got the lovers? Oh, look at that. That is wonderful. Okay, so I just want to say right off the bat, could be a Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. Um, Four of Wands, the secret admirer could be coming through and could be your twin flame too, or somebody you end up being together with, like full union. Um, Five of Wands, there could be some conflict, but with the Three of Cups here, like this is celebration. This is like <sighs> Four of Wands and Three of Cups. Like it's going to be a good time. You're going to be moving past this. This isn't going to last long. You just got to release, release the old you and the old ways of thinking. This is going to be good. Okay. So now we're going to get into the Island Time Wellness. What can you tell us about this connection? Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Oh, my Lanta. If you are in, on the twin flame journey, this could be really good for you. You are currently in separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future, but they want to ascend. They want to come. They're, they're coming close. Yeah, they're they're still battling some demons, though. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling has a block restraint. So I feel like this... When you are going through this anxious energy, that could be you channeling your person, like what they're going through, okay? Like you, you may not know it. You may not even like, <laughs> you may not even have met them yet. Or if you have, um, you could just be really intensely feeling their energy, but they're definitely working on it. And we do have the dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, heal, yeah. And then you have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. This person absolutely adores you and you will be, you will adore that. Like you're preparing for union. You were about to come together. This is amazing. <laughs> Just this full moon energy is going to shake some things up and it's going to be really weird for a little bit, but you're going to be fine. You are going to be abundant regardless. Okay. You've got the nine of pentacles here and it's happening quick for you. I just saw 1111 on my clock. Oh my gosh. Whew. <laughs> so I um not island time wellness romance angels what do you have for okay that was quick <laughs> um okay so you have unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going not at the moment but the energy is going to be picking up you do have children. Your love life is being affected by children. You could have kids or children with them. Or maybe they were just in a childish energy and that's dying off. Or maybe you were. You know what? We've got to take accountability for our stuff too. 
um, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, that might be what the short journey is about. Maybe you could be going on a trip with them. Um, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Yes, maybe going on a trip with your friends. <laughs> do that. Friends trip. Um, on the back of the deck, you do have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. It's coming in. It's just, you know, there's some there's some other things that need to be released. But when that does happen, this energy is beautiful. Like it's a little chaotic, but it's beautiful. <laughs> um, it's just like the... I want to say it's like the final steps of like taking out what no longer serves you like taking out like all like working on your shadow self like you both are close to the finish line and able to come together I love that <laughs> okay so now oops we are going to get into the charms and initials so the charms could be um could have a different meaning to you than they do for me or what I say but I also want to mention that they could be signs that you see that you let you know you're on the right track um it could be like an animal or like a word or something or name somebody significant so we're gonna see here what do my pile fours need to see what do my pile fours need to see Okay, you need to see a lot. Okay, wow, that is a lot. <laughs> okay, we're going to get through. We're going to get through. Um, okay. <laughs> With the M in that heart, it reminds me of like uh, those mom tattoos. Like the, <laughs> the old heart and you know what I mean? <laughs> Somebody loves the mama. Who doesn't? Well, I guess there's a lot of people that have traumatic relationships. I'm really sorry about that, if that's the case. But, you know, weird to your mom. <laughs> okay. Oh. We have the Eiffel Tower here. Uh, you can, maybe you want to travel to Paris, but like the city of lights, like that's a city of love. Um, this is shining a light on your love life and this is where the energy is shifting if that makes sense and that really took over <laughs> um I also want to say that this broken wishbone could be a past relationship that you're really holding on to and you were hoping and genuinely wanting it to work out but it just wouldn't I just saw 2323 or sorry 2333 on the camera timer <laughs> sorry about that um but I just want to say, like, there's a reason why it didn't work out. That person just wasn't for you and you're on your way to someone better. So we do have the sunflower here. Um, that can be significant, seeing sunflowers. Or maybe that's your favorite uh, flower or your person's. We do have a seahorse. So this reminds me of abundance. And the card in the tea leaves, um, family matters. So your family could be significant or their family just want to say uh we do have these luscious red lips so i'm thinking rocky horror picture show but doesn't have to be um shout out if you know you know the real ones know anyways um also i want to say like you're gonna be this person it could be it could be somebody's first kiss i just want to say or even like you'll you will be like making out with them hard <laughs> <laughs> or somebody really 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 wants to kiss you or this also tells me that like there could be a lot of gossip around but you know what people are gonna talk I just saw 24 44 on the camera timer you are protected through this so like whatever people are gonna talk regardless there's literally nothing you can do about that um it's just you know your truth okay uh oh we have the key to love we got the love key so yeah this is like unlocking your heart like you're your soulmate you're coming together i love that um the star obviously healing um or you're a star to this person or um their star for you uh, there's a guitar here somebody could play guitar uh we have sagittarius we have tons and ton not tons and tons i'm being dramatic we have two golden hearts here so like i feel like 
this is the love of a lifetime this is like reciprocated this is a long time coming like this is like you two were meant to come together and compliment each other look how cute those are together that's adorable uh we do have saturn could be somebody ruled by saturn we do have january here so that is capricorn and aquarius um or could be somebody could be going through their saturn return <clears throat> we have flamingos i mean flamingos on the lovers okay need i say more um <laughs> no i'm just kidding i will say more but um with the with the flamingo there it reminds me of vacation it reminds me of florida like tropical stuff like you know you know, not tropical but like you know what i mean like they're they're a <laughs> not a bird you see uh, everywhere you know what i mean not in the wild at least uh ooh. So this is um, the Aquarius, pretty much, is the water bearer. Um, healing energy, having faith, keeping the faith. You could be Aquarius or um, something could happen in Aquarius season or um, this is just like an Aquarius is going to be significant. Okay. Uh, we do have this bow and this pearl. So this, uh, the bows make me uh, think of the card in the tea leaves, um, bow you were highly thought of. So um, you were definitely highly thought of by not only your angels, your guides, and whatever you believe in, um, but those closest to you and anybody who's ever met you, okay, you were highly thought of, even if like some people say otherwise, you were definitely highly thought of and highly protected you are like this pearl somebody wants to keep you like real precious and close to them and protect you with all they've got um <clears throat> we do have a butterfly so transformation that is amazing um what is not amazing is this heartbreak but you know what we gotta let things fall away in order for better things to come right so that could be like the last step in order to get to closer to union with your twin flame we do have the moon here. So the moon could be significant. You could like um, stargazing. This is actually like my favorite phase of the moon. Um, I I can never remember if it's waning or waxing, but it, it's when it's like, like the little sliver. It's, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> um, we do have this cross, could be religious. Um, also, I want to say that it's keeping the faith, okay? Keeping the faith, continuing to do it one step at a time, one day at a time. You've got this. You you know that you were divinely guided. Even if you, like, don't know it, like, deep down you do. And your moral compass is becoming stronger. We do have this cute little, um, is this a pink daisy or is that a chrysanthemum? I am unsure. I'm not too ver I'm not well versed on flowers because your girl is allergic. So um they're pretty, but <laughs> yeah, anyways, but like um something is coming into bloom, okay? Like this is finally blooming. It's been in the ground for so long and it's been sprouting a little here and there, but I feel like this you you two are finally blooming together. And I do have the fairy here. So it's like, it's going to feel like you've been blessed by like a fairy godmother. Like somebody's like coming in and just like bing, bang, boom. Your, your manifestations are coming. Here's your abundance. You got it. Take care of you and continue to thrive and prosper. But also I'm going to give you that love that you've been waiting for. Okay. So um, for letters, we do have F. M C R V B W C I J Y L Z or Z B T T R and F. Okay. <laughs> you were the one who got the most charms. So, um, yeah, if you would like to take a screenshot, pause the video, do what you need to. If these have any other meaning for you, absolutely take them. It, it, take it how it resonates and leave what it doesn't for another person out there but anyways uh this is all i have for you pal for i really 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 hope this resonated if it didn't that's okay i might not be the reader for you and that's totally fine um this might not even be the video for you there's a lot of us out here doing these types of videos so um keep a lookout whatever calls to you but anyways I sincerely hope you're having a great day or night whenever you are watching. My email is listed down below if you would like a personal reading with me. It is first come, first serve basis. So uh, if I don't get to you right away, please don't be discouraged. I will get to you. Um, and yeah, that is all I have for you. <laughs> so um, 
Yeah, if you're leaving me for another pile, I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you later. All right. Bye, pile four.